Hey guys, Auspicious Aussie here and welcome to episode 6 of the Atlanta United series for Football Manager 2019. Now today's episode is going to be a game against Toronto FC. Of course they are one of our conference rivals and at the moment they're sitting in 4th position. However, New England can overtake them if they are to lose against us today. So for them, it's a pretty big game, obviously. Finishing 4th and 5th changes the dynamic between who you verse. So their wildcard playoff could be very different come the end of this game. Uh, We're also going to do a little bit of a season review. Obviously we have the playoffs still to come. However, I want to just, you know, go over the players' stats, you know, throughout this regular season. It's uh, a pretty big thing in America to split the, the regular season and then, of course, the playoffs. You know, they're very separate in terms of the way American sports work. Anyway, let's go over the recent fixtures. Of course, the previous episode was the US Open Cup final. The victory over New York City. We followed that up with a 2-1 victory away from home against New York Red Bulls. Barco managed to get himself a brace, albeit also missing a penalty, uh, which could have been his hat-trick. We then managed to beat New England Revolution 2-0. As you can see, Pires got himself sent off with a straight red card. However, we still won the game and dominated. Redding and Gressel on the score sheet there, and we managed to keep a clean sheet despite being down to 10 men. And the final game just played was a 2-0 victory. A bit of revenge over Chicago. They were literally our only loss this season. All the way back, back in May, the start of May. Our only loss. Just goes to show how strong the Atlanta squad actually is. At the start of the game, I mean, Guzan's probably the best goalkeeper in the league. Joseph Martinez, probably the best striker. Apart, I mean, Ibrahimovic would probably surpass him in terms of mental and technical stats, but Martinez, bucket loads of pace, you know, decent strength as well. And I mean, his technicals and finishing is, you know, it's definitely above average in terms of your average player. And yeah, I mean, Gonzalo Martinez, I would say he's probably Premier League quality, in my opinion. So yeah, there are the fixtures. Uh, let's get into today's lineup. Uh, a little bit changed. Uh, we've got a couple of injuries, of course. We've just only recently got Bello back, the 16-year-old left back. Uh, he returned from injury. Um, He was developing quite nicely before that five-week injury. Um, And now we're a little bit short. Worth noting that Joseph Martinez picked up an injury himself in the previous game. Um, Said he was going to be out for, well, between 7 and 14 days. And that was seven days ago. So it says that he's still in rehabilitation for his injury. Um, But we're going to put him on the bench today. He won't come on. Um... I don't even know why I'm putting him on the bench, just to, you know, flesh it out a little bit, look a bit more menacing, you know, going into the game. If you see Martinez on the bench, you're probably going to be a little bit scared. Uh, But yeah, Gonzalo Martinez is going to be suspended for this game as well, Uh, I think due to his five yellow cards that he's picked up throughout the season. Um, So he's missing, and essentially we don't have another left winger um, so Nagby is literally the only player that can sort of play there um, that's not either yellow or lower in terms of the uh, preferred positions. But it is what it is. We have to move past it. And uh, yeah, anyway, today's lineup is going to be Guzan in goals, Escobar at right back, Pires and Pogba as our two center defenders. Bello is going to be back in at left back. Lorentowitz as the defensive midfielder. Then we're going to go with Gressel and Ramidi. Villalba will be on the right wing. Nagby on the left wing. And Williams will be up front today. Uh, The bench is going to be Can, Robinson, 
Hernandez, Barco, Kisaveta, and Joseph Martinez. Again, we've only got six subs today, you know, due to all the injuries and the suspension. So it's a little bit, you know, a little bit of a, a bad end. Obviously, it's not a bad end because we've had by far, you know, a better season than I... Nagby picks up an injury two and a half minutes into this game. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Let me guess. He's going to be out probably for the, the first playoff semifinal. I would assume so. Yeah, that's really annoying. Um, hopefully that's not serious. If he misses the first one, that's fine. But I really want him back for the, the conference final. Super annoying, you know, it's just one of those things we're under, you know, we've been struck down by injuries. And now we've got Gressel picking up a yellow card, so we'll ease him off. Really don't want him to pick up a, a second yellow and get sent off. That'd be very, very detrimental to the team. Gressel's a weird, weird player. He's uh, inconsistent. Some some weeks or some games, he's, you know, one of our best players. And then the next week, he'll play a 6.5 or something like that. Just, you know, all over the all over the shop, really. And this is, uh, I mean, that was a pretty boring first half. Nothing really happened apart from the yellow card and the injury. Albeit they haven't had a shot yet. So we are dominating them in, an, in you know... In that aspect. Although without, you know, Joseph, well, both Martinez's, I don't think we're really going to be uh, likely to score. So I guess we'll bring, we'll bring Barco on. Uh, hopefully he doesn't pick up an injury. That'd be, that'd be even worse in terms of the playoffs. I mean, Nagby's one thing, but Barco's essentially, I would say, our joint third best player. Or, sorry, joint first best player out of three, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, that was a absolutely dreadful game to uh, be in an episode. Um, but, yeah, there's nothing I can really do. We had 17 shots and could not find the back of the net. Is Mavinga... No, he's a centre-back. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah. All right, Nagby. Oh, come on. Five to six weeks. Um, I'm pretty sure that that's going to rule him out. I think that's going to completely rule him out of the... Uh, the whole playoff system. Even if we make the MLS Cup final... I don't think he's actually going to be uh, taking part in that. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the playoffs. Obviously, these are the wildcard playoffs. As you can see, Toronto taking on Chicago and New England taking on Columbus from our conference. In the Western Conference, we've got... Oh, sorry, the Eastern Conference? I don't even know what conference we're in. I'm pretty sure we're in the Eastern Conference. Yes, we are. Conferences are very weird in terms of uh, of what goes on. Anyway, the Western Conference wildcard playoffs are going to be LAFC taking on San Jose and then Vancouver taking on Seattle. I think they're both uh, derby games or rivalry games. I think uh, that's a California derby and then I think that's a Cascadia Cup derby, if I'm not mistaken. I think my knowledge is pretty good there. I'm pretty sure San Jose is in California. Um, anyway, let's have a little squad review here. I mean, you probably expect to know who the best performers are. But yeah, Gonzalo Martinez. 10 goals and 20 assists in 32 starts. 7.70 average rating throughout the course of the regular season. Um, behind him, we have Escobar, the right back. 9 goals, 6 assists for him. 
and a 7.62 in 34 starts. Uh, we then have Barco. 14 goals, 8 assists for him. Very impressive at a, a pretty young age of only 19. In 31 starts, he had an average rating of 7.47. Uh, behind him is Nagby, who chipped in with 11 goals, 4 assists in 30 games, with an average rating of 7.43. Uh, Pogba's in behind him. Good to see a, you know, a centre-back, a defender. 5 goals, 1 assist, 7.40 average rating in 34 starts. Interesting that Goslin, albeit he did play most of the U.S. Open Cup. Seven starts, seven sub-appearances for two goals, two assists, and a 7.34 average rating as well. It's pretty impressive for an 18-year-old um, who doesn't really look that good in terms of his technical attributes. Uh, behind him, we have Peria, uh, Perez, the other centre-back. Three goals, 7.30 average rating in 30 starts. Uh, behind him, we have the other centre-back, the sort of backup in Tommy Redding. 19 starts, 4 sub-appearances for 1 goal and a 7.27 average rating. Uh, behind him, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Joseph Martinez. 34 starts, 16 goals, 10 assists, and a 7.26 average rating. Uh, behind them, we've, you know, we've got some other decent performers. Worth noting that Bello, 16 years old, 7.17 average rating for the season in 23 starts and 5 sub-appearances. So, pretty good return there from the 16-year-old. I'm pretty happy with his uh, contribution. Obviously, in terms of the Supporter Shield, we, of course, won that, I think, it, an episode or two ago. Two episodes ago, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, at one stage, we were about 20 points clear. Um, around the 29 game mark, so five games ago or so. And uh, as you can see now, we are 22 points clear. So we've done really well. Um, that's a pretty big gap on LA Galaxy. And then Sporting Kansas City behind them, who are, were, they were top of the other conference, uh, the Western Conference. Anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap this episode up, guys. Drop the video a like, it'd be much appreciated. Our first regular season, we've won the Supporters' Shield, come first in the conference, obviously. We've won the US Open Cup. We're going to go into the playoffs. Uh, we've got, you know, a couple of pretty bad injuries as well. It's going to be tough. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the next episode. Subscribe as well if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. That should hopefully keep you up to date with all these episodes coming out in the future. And apart from that, guys, take it easy. And goodbye.